Hi, this is Bob Wilson with Industrial Land Dons. I want to do a quick video kind of going over our system, some of the main components, how it goes together, and uh, what some of this stuff looks like. So this is one of our standard floor signal stations. Uh, I've got the standard switch box attached to it right now. So with that, as you can see, you can turn on the individual lights. Then you've got a tone cancellation. So that keeps the lights on, but uh, turns off the turns off the melody. Uh, I also have added, if you watch our other video on adding additional switches, I do have an additional uh, switch on this one attached, just a standard limit switch, normally open position. So as you see, when that one closes, that's going to turn the uh, red light on. Uh, since both inputs are turned on, uh, when that is on, you'll see that it flashes fast. Now, if we turn the uh, red light off and then turn this on, you'll see that it flashes slower. Uh, so with that uh, input, it gives you a little bit slower flash. Okay, so, so this is kind of one of the hardware uh, items. The other is you can use... Uh, key fobs with the system to turn it on, so if you don't want to, if you don't need the switch box or you need some added flexibility as far as moving the system, mounting it up higher, um, or you're moving around on a large piece of equipment working on it or a lot of motion, you can use a little key fob device, in which case then you can turn it on and off um, using that unit. You can also, uh, if you're using that, you can also use a tone cancellation one that say the supervisor could carry around so that's going to cancel the tone to acknowledge that they've heard it and that they're responding. So this is kind of the hardware side of the uh, hardware side of the system. Um, we also have the software side of the system in which data gets collected and one of the neat uh, features with that is that you can uh, on like a tablet or uh, any sort of device like that, you can actually use that as a uh, wireless display. I uh, had conversations with customers that you can go out and pick up these fairly inexpensive tablets for under 100 bucks. They don't work real well as tablets, but they do work very well as a wireless display. So if you have Wi-Fi throughout your facility, that way what you can do is when, uh, uh, when a light is turned on, um, what you'll see is that very quickly that gets turned on in the system. Now you'll see that I've got, there's another unit that's on in the system. Um, the way this is set up right now is if you've got an entire plant, uh, this is going to show you all the devices in your, in your facility. Uh, but you can set up multiple views, so if you only care about a few uh, devices in your facility, you can actually go to set up a different view that say only shows you the components in your value stream. So now you can see a much more limited uh, subset. Now if you've got more than one light on, as you can see down here, um, what it'll do is it'll toggle back and forth, each one showing you how long that light's been on for. Uh, very handy. Now at the same time too with all of these triggers, you can tie in so that you'll get an email alert whenever uh, a switch is either turned on, off, or both uh, conditions. You can also get a uh, email alert when um, a certain number of times a switch comes on and also after a certain period of time. So you can define, say after five minutes, it's going to send another email out and that's going to go to a different group of people. So when you get that, um, I don't know if you can see, uh, see it well or not, we'll try to give a close up on it. But so the email that shows up then is going to give you some basic information. You can change what's in the subject line of the email to make it pertinent towards what you want. There is a default setting in it, so in this case it's telling me that in the Bay Area the 111 red one is on. Okay, so that may mean something to you, or you can change that to a specific piece of equipment. In the case of this switch, if we tie it to the CNC machine, then what that gives us is a note that says uh, Bay 1, CNC is on. So uh, you can change those to meet your needs. So just wanted to demonstrate and give you some ideas on uh, what you can tie in with the system, uh, what you can see on the devices as, you know, for stuff you're carrying around, you can also get the same view on your phone. Um, to look at, so from anywhere that you've got an internet connection, you can see the status of what's going on in your factory.
Uh, if you have any questions, please give us a call, email us. Uh, we'd be happy to work with you. Thank you.